With high energy hits like Shots, Demon, and Radioactive, we can never get enough of Imagine Dragons and their electrifying lead singer, Dan Reynolds. But behind the scenes, Dan's been dealing with a debilitating disease called ankylosing spondylitis, or AS. And Dan is live in the People Now studios today to open up about his fight against AS. Thank you so much for being here, Dan. How are yeah, you? Good, really good. Really nice to have you. Now, you've been living with AS for nearly 10 years, and you're opening up, about, opening up about it for the first time today on People Now. What made now the right time to open up about it? You know, I don't know. I think that you kind of, I'm 29 now, so I'm, I'm almost into my 30s. Mm -hmm. You kind of come into a point of your life where you kind of begin to accept things about yourself. And I think, especially with ankylosing spondylitis, because it's, you know, a disease, um, I don't know, I'm typically a really private person, and so it was something that I held on to. I don't know out of whether, I haven't figured out in my head whether it was like, because I was ashamed of myself, or because I felt like it made me weak, or because I just wanted to keep it to myself, but I kind of felt like it got to a point where I thought, you know what, I, I feel like I have uh, a responsibility to share it. it that's kind of what it felt like to me. Like, um, it's a hidden disease, so not a lot of people know about it, and, I wanted more people to have awareness of it and people who maybe were just diagnosed and not feel so alone in it. And um, so, yeah, I don't know, maybe coming of age and thinking, you know, it's time to step up a little bit and, and share kind of this part of me. Yeah. Like you said, you're 29. Uh, it can be very debilitating. How has it affected you as a musician and a performer? Well, you know, it affects everybody different. So it attacks your joints, basically, and your vo your joints kind of inflame. And um, for me, it started in my lower hips. I felt kind of like, a, like kind of felt like someone was drilling in my nerves is really the way that I could explain mm -hmm. it. I couldn't sleep, uh, I couldn't stand, I couldn't perform, I couldn't move um, on stage the way that I needed to for the band. And so it really, it's, it's very, uh, it's a scary disease. You feel like you're gonna lose everything that's close to you, you know? Um, but, you know, I, uh, I I was able to get above it, you know, and finally sought treatment and saw a rheumatologist and they said, listen, this is what it is. Lots of doctors had misdiagnosed me and said, oh, it's sciatica or this and, and that, but uh, I finally saw a rheumatologist and that's kind of when they put me on a treatment that just cleared me up and now I'm uh, in remission, which is incredible, yeah. That's great. Um, you, you're also a dad. You have a beautiful daughter, Arrow. She's yeah. four. Yeah. And your wife, Asia, is ex you guys are expecting twins? Yeah, so actually, <laughs> um, so we're, we're expecting twins. It's supposed to be a boy and a girl is what I've been told. And then yesterday my wife just called me and it's a girl and a girl. So oh I just found out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I, for months I thought I was having a boy and a girl, which was cool, you know. I'm, I'm cool with whatever. I love my four-year-old, so. But yeah, I was on the train last night. And my wife was like, hey, are you sitting down? I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm on a train. And she's like, yeah, it's going to be a girl and a girl. So, so three so, girls. Yeah. So there'll be four girls in the family, you know, counting my wife. So I'm, I mean, I'm stoked on it. I love my little girl. So I'm, it's, I'm taking it in. <laughs> I'm still processing it now. But I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah I mean, you have a lot going on with being a dad, with the band. I mean, what has been your scariest moment dealing with AS? Oh man, I mean it came on right as I was married, so I'm sure for my wife it was really overwhelming because suddenly I couldn't like lift things, I couldn't get out of bed, but I couldn't be in bed without being in pain. Um, but she was super patient through all of it. That was a really scary time. When we had our, our baby, you know, I was like totally scared that I wasn't going to be able to be the dad that I wanted to be, um, which was really overwhelming and scary at the time. Um, and when I was first diagnosed, you, nobody wants to be told they have a disease, you know. Yeah. So uh, all those moments were particularly scary for me. But, you know, I've, it's really turned to be the greatest blessing in my life. It's really taught me discipline and I, I have a lot more empathy, I think, for people who suffer from diseases, um, especially AS. And so that's why I wanted to get involved with raising awareness and starting This AS Life, which is basically a campaign that will raise awareness and hopefully make a hidden disease become um, non-hidden? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, so yeah. tell me about this. So you teamed up with the Spondylitis Association of America and Novartis to help give those suffering with AS hope. And so you're doing this with this show called This AS Life Live. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I'm really excited actually because we just started putting it together. I've just started to film a couple of the episodes. Basically, I'm just sitting down with people who have AS, going to their homes, seeing what their daily life is like, feel, hearing their story of when they were first diagnosed and um, seeing how they're dealing with it. 
So basically we're creating a community for people to all come to thisaslife.com um, where they can see videos of, and hear people's stories and um, be a part of a community, you know, instead of feeling so alone in the disease to see, oh, you know, this person has it, this person has it. And they are a yoga teacher. Uh, they are teaching surf lessons. They are, you know, playing music. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take over your life. It's not going to ruin your life. In fact, the craziest part is that I've found is most people have told me they're grateful for it. They're grateful because it gave them more drive. It gave them more passion for life. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this Ace Life.